Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your September How They Feel About You general love reading. Happy birthday to all of the Virgos that are listening. Uh, end of August to the third week of September. This reading is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, listen to your other signs to see if maybe you can pick up a little more information. If you'd like to purchase this reading from me, a personal private reading, uh, you just go to my website, moonpytarot.com, and you can just book your appointment. It's pretty easy. Uh, I will give you this reading, and then I had a couple of little extra things in the reading as well to give you more clarity. Okay, so... What's going on with the other person, Virgo? Someone that you are dealing with, uh, no matter what kind of relationship it is, if you're single and you just like someone, or if you are dating someone, if you are exclusive of friends with benefits, marriage, whatever it may be, it will apply to all of you. Okay, so the other person here has the reconciliation card. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so this is the position of what they may be telling you or the messages they're giving you or uh, what their energy is towards you. Okay, so they're, I feel like this person may be giving you the impression that they wish to return to your life in some way, especially if you've been separated. If you haven't been separated, there may be issues that you're dealing with currently because you have the five of wands here so this is tension and conflict so this person i feel like is is feeling very much this this tension and what's going on between the two of you and they may want to reconcile with you to talk about the differences or just to reach out um, even if you are partnered with this person but there's not uh, communication there's a lack of communication or just an absence of some sort in communication or physical this energy comes through where this person is looking to reconcile things with you straighten issues out if there were issues in the past of course or if you're dealing with something now where there's some trouble because the Five of Wands talks about challenges, obstacles. It's not, it's not very heavy energy. It's just this, it's just like maybe there's competition. Some of you may have, uh, maybe some of you are dating a particular person and dating another. And perhaps the person that is interested in you maybe could be fighting for your attention as well during this time so in the position of how they feel about you the deception card is here clarified with the two of wands so deception comes through as someone in the relationships wearing a false mask and they feel that you are hiding something from them and with the two of wands i feel as if Whatever it is that's not being shown, they want you to reveal it. They're waiting for some type of a result from you. There could be travel involved. They may want to come to see you or you go see them. There could be the two of you. They may be wanting to go on a trip with you. There's a lack of, they feel like, that you are not showing them all of the truth. And I, I feel more strongly that either you're hiding something or there have been lies in the past and they, they're feeling as if you are not being open and honest, that you are not making a decision perhaps about standing up for yourself or making a decision about what it is that you want. Maybe you're waiting for them. So 
So this is truly about choice. And they just feel like you're being deceptive in some way about something. Okay, so what's crowning them and what is in their thought process? They have the finances and career card. So on their mind right now is that they are very focused on work and career. But I feel like if you're partnered with someone, uh, if you have a spouse or you're exclusive with them, I feel like they are um, working very hard to support your family. But they're so focused on work that it's affecting the relationship. Okay, that they worry so much about money and uh, their deadlines and, you know, what's going on with them. But I feel with the Ten of Cups that they're doing this, all of this work for the marriage to take care of children, if you have children, um, to support the family, to support you. Now, if you're not in that situation, this is just could be someone that you have met at work and this their energy what they're thinking in their mind is that they want to have a happy family with you okay it could be someone who's a co-worker or an, uh, an employer or a boss but the it's one of those situations where it's someone that you work with it could be affecting the opportunity to move forward because they're a colleague or there's an employment situation involved in this. Now in the position of their behavior, they have release your ex. So I feel like this person is trying to let go of something from the past and they're trying to gain clarity with the moon in the reverse. They're either letting go of an ex partner or an ex way of life or old thoughts and thinking patterns and beliefs and they're trying to get at the truth perhaps about you or come to the truth as well within themselves because of the deception card there is some deception playing out in the relationship or in the dynamic between the two of you. And they're getting, um, their intuition is very high. They're, even if they're not a guru of sorts, they have this energy where they're listening to their gut at this time. Whomever they may have dealt with in the past, they're coming to a truth about that person or they're coming to a truth about how that relationship ended or how it was. They may have been blinded for some time. So they're behaving in a way where they're having a lot of these aha moments like, wow, this is what the tr this is what really happened. This is, or this is how I've been living my life. Or this is how I've been thinking. And, you know, uh, they're make they're 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 having epiphanies i guess they're coming to finally see the light now that doesn't mean that they are acting in a particular way towards you okay it just means their behavior and wh how they're expressing themselves and their behavior now what's external to them is religious factors and this could have something to do with you but sometimes you know if it's not religious factors it's just that the two of you have perhaps different upbringings different lifestyles uh, different cultures could be that whichever it may be there are differences between the two of you but with the Sun here I feel like those are very positive things and for you, Virgos, at least for most of you, I feel like it's an opposites attract kind of a situation. Um, but the sun brings light. 
So in their life, they may realize that they are a bit different or that the relationship, what's external to them or you, they're seeing these differences, but they're, they're thinking very positively about them. They're not in the dark about what is happening between the two of you. In other words, they they see the differences, but they, they enjoy them because the sun is about having a joyous outcome. So they like that, and you like those differences as well. Maybe a bit of a struggle between the two of you, Okay, but there, it, it's 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 almost um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I always lose my voice when I'm talking. It's almost like a it, kind of a bit of a challenge, you know. It keeps the it keeps it alive between the two of you. So the outcome position for both of you for September is you both deserve the love, and I love that you have the star card here right next to the sun. So I feel like it's really important. I feel like you both will keep the faith about this relationship, no matter the difficulties, <coughs> no matter, sorry, no matter what's going on. If there's some kind of, you know, if you've been hiding something from them, which is what they feel, and you need to make a decision about something, if you've just been going with the flow, it may be time for you to, at least they feel, to decide if you want to continue on with them or go your separate ways. They don't want that. They want to reconcile. They want to stay with you or keep moving forward with you. And they are coming to some truths within themselves right now. But the star card, I feel like there is renewal and there is hope for this situation. If you've been separated or if this is someone whom that you are single and, and you're just interested is the interested in, there, there is hope that this could blossom into something. Because I do feel like even though there are differences between the two of you, you each individually love yourselves and you know who you are and you know where you're going and you know what you want I'm just concerned about this their feeling towards you about this deception there may be some things they want to get at the truth they're trying to pull your mask off if you've been hiding or if you've just not been very authentic or honest with them And the star card also talks about miracles and um, clarity. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of truths coming out during September, maybe some conversations and honest communication. So it's very positive. The reading is very short, very simple. If you, again, wish to get this reading, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com, and I will be more than happy to do a personal private reading for you. Okay? Virgos, have a beautiful September. Talk to you soon. Bye.